Hey everyone, so today I'm going to be unboxing the October Glossy Box. This, I have it upside down. This is what it looks like. This is the Enchanted Spirit The Beauty Tales box. So this is the first Glossy Box I've had in like almost two years. I think it was like Feb when I cancelled it of 2019 and I only had it from like November of 2018. Because when I did order this, it said number two next to it. So I don't know if there's like another one. I don't really know. So before we get into this video, please be sure to subscribe if you haven't done so already. So you don't miss any further videos from me. If you want to see the Glossy Box and Zoeva unboxing, um, I'll leave it up here. I used the code HAS, so I got it for £10.50. This is a box, let me give you a little zoom in. So cute. Yeah, I literally don't actually have a clue what's in this. Okay, yes, yeah, so there are two boxes. So you've got the Midnight Fantasy and the Enchanted Spirit box. I'm very intrigued to see what's in. Do you know what's so annoying with these sort of things, though, is when you then look at the other one in your life. Wish I had got that one. I'm going to assume just by looking that... If there's like a lip colour in here, I'm going to assume this has the lighter colour and the Midnight Fantasy has the darker colour. Just because this is Enchanted, the other one's Midnight. So that's what I'm going to assume is the case. So we'll see. So the first thing here is a Look Fantastic Foundation Finder. So I'm going to I don't know if it's a MAC foundation, but it says MAC down here. It's basically you just answer three questions and take a selfie and then it matches you. Okay, this definitely isn't as neatly packed as my Soeva one. Um, first thing we've got is just a, we've got a Cadbury's Dark Milk, both rich and creamy. I've never seen Cadbury's Dark Chocolate before, like in a, like a little bar. How cute. Not gonna lie, from the colours I thought it was gonna be chocolate orange. <laughs> I'm gonna go with this because I prefer the makeup-y things normally, so I'm gonna go with this because it looks like skincare. Oh no, it's bath powder. Oh, I can't use this. This is a bubble, is it bubble tea? I don't know if it is bubble tea or not, but... It says bubble and then tea. <laughs> Fairy dust foaming bath powder in lavender, which just looks like this. Now, if you've watched my Lush haul, you will know I hate the smell of lavender. I will leave my Lush haul up here if you haven't seen it already, but I hate lavender. This looks like a really cool idea. It's literally just that I don't like the smell, but it's just a foaming bath powder. It says, relax, restore and prepare for a deep sleep with this dreamy lavender foaming bath. You sprinkle it across warm water for a fizzy treat. So it's basically just like a not solid bath bomb. But it looks so cute. Maybe I can give that to my cousin or something. Um, so for that, the Bubble Tea Cosmetics Bath Powder, it's 5 99 And this one on here says rose. So I don't know if maybe in the other box it was a rose one. But I also hate the smell of rose. I'm not a floral person, as you can probably tell. Next thing in here is the Beauty Crop Stargazing. Is that what it says? Yeah, Stargazing Blush Duo in... So it got like a shade. Doesn't seem so. That's the outside. That package that packaging is so cute. Let's have a see what this is about. I can see the packaging of the blush duo is dark here and my one's light because the box is the light one. So I'm gonna just assume that the red lipstick probably isn't red, possibly. It retails for £18. It is what that one's also called the Stargazing Blush Duo, so maybe they are the same. A matte hue and a shimmery shade. Oh, it does feel a bit cheap, but I can't lie. Like, it looks incredible. This is Orion, Orion Glow. How on earth do you open this? Okay, they're actually really cute colours. They are actually very cute colours. This does feel, like, considering... Did, that, did I say £18 for this? This, honestly, if you gave me this, and, like, if you, yeah, if you just put that in my hand and asked me to guess the price, I would guess, like five pound the products could be incredible but i'm just saying the packaging for 18 pound doesn't mean the product won't be amazing doesn't really matter about the packaging if the product's great oh it feels really soft oh that's a really lovely color i think i personally would use the matte one which, which one's matte that's really hard to tell which one's which but i would definitely more lean towards this one just because it's a bit peachier but they're lovely colors and that pigment that's just that was just a little thing and then one swipe so yeah, the quality definitely makes up for the packaging. <laughs> I have this, ooh, Ilamasca Hydravail Rehydrating Gel. <gasps> the best selling clear gel instantly helps the skin feel hydrated and smooth. Okay, I'm really happy about this because my skin has been so flaky. So I'm hoping that this will help. That's tiny, but it's so cute. Let's see. So the mini, this is worth, is this seven mil? Yeah, so this is seven mils. This is worth 10 pound, but the full size, the 30 mil one is 34 pound. Let's, I wanna smell it. Oh, it's like a full on gel, like it's gel. Oh, it smells quite nice. That's the cutest little thing, but I mean, I do feel like 10 pound for that is like, 
insane. I feel like I'd use this very sparingly. That is the cutest little bottle. That feels quite nice. It's one of those ones where it has like a scent, but it's not like a strong, it's just sort of like the smell of all the stuff in it. Okay, so I've kind of changed the angle a little bit. Okay, so the next thing in here is this. This is a brand I've got for like, this is a skincare piece I got in the Epic calendar last year. What brand is this? 3INA? 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 I'm not sure how you say it. So this is the 24 hour pen eyeliner. Oh, I've wanted a new eyeliner. Because I realized that one, the one I used in the Selena video, that literally rubbed off like that like it was so easy to get off which obviously isn't a good thing with eyeliner so it says create a magical eye look using this soot black eyeliner and its trusty precision tip this highly pigmented liquid liner delivers waterproof color to the lid that dries rapidly and is super long lasting like it's not watery like it's quite like a solid opaque color which is really good and it's meant to be waterproof, which means it will last long. Literally, with that other one, when I started putting the um, eyelash cut, when I started curling my eyelashes, it literally like started rubbing off, and I was like, okay, that's not good. <laughs> so this is ten pound ninety five, which is pretty pricey actually. So that definitely like ups up the price quite a bit. Actually, the most expensive thing is that blush duo in here. I don't know what I have of this brand. It might be like a some sort of skincare item. There's not much you can say about an eyeliner, but I've just put that on as well. That is not budging, and I'm really pushing down hard as well. It's like slightly smudged underneath, I don't know if you can see that, but that's like, you've just seen how many times I've rubbed against that with a lot of pressure on my, with my finger. And the last thing in here is this Luna by Luna lipstick in, do I not have shades? <laughs> in the booklet thing it's red. So this is in Pixie. Is Pixie red? No, this is the paler one. I think I would get more wear out of this than the red. I was kind of hoping for red because it's like, it's autumn and red's probably my least, you like my like color I've got the least of, but it, it's like, I feel like this color is something I'd wear a lot. Let's swatch it. I don't really know why this color is in a October box. It's a lovely color, don't get me wrong. Like that's lovely. It looks a lot more dusky pink on camera, I'm not gonna lie. In person, it's a lot more like coral, almost. For me, it seems too summery to put in an autumn box. But this is 15 pound. Is it like, what sort of finish is it? It's a creamy, rich pigment that stays put for hours. I think it's just a, like a cream lipstick. It doesn't seem like it's matte so what's in this book i think is what's in the other box that's the lipstick i didn't show you the package did i it just looks like this if it's gonna focus can't really see it oh i need to drop the box and there's just the color of the lipstick out on my face there we go so this box is worth 60 and it, i paid 10 pound for it so even if it's not exactly like everything you love the price is insane um, this is a sneak peek of next month's. I wasn't like blown away by what was in it. I'm sure a lot of people probably are. I personally wasn't because if you actually could feel the products in your hand, the lipstick and the blush didn't feel £15. They felt kind of cheap. That is this video. So if you enjoyed this video, please be sure to subscribe, like and comment. And I will see you in my next video. Bye.